World Trends in Social Entrepreneurship and Business. Young people from all over the world. New experience. Secrets of success. Unique opportunities. All of this can be found at the International Youth Summer School. In 2019, the Belt and Road Initiative is a hot news in the business world. However, only a few have tried to understand the role of youth in this trend. This is exactly the reason why Youth Time International Movement and China Song Qingling Foundation picked Bridge Capital and Technology, Corporations along Silk Road, Innovation in Entrepreneurship as the main topic. And this is the first time we are cooperating with a youth time movement and we have a lot in common and we are trying to build a platform for the young people along Bad Road and to make them to get more involved in the initiative of Bad Road and share more experience of Bad Road initiative and um, contribute to the construction of Bad Road initiative. In general, the all youth time international movement project and uh, platforms, they are created for young entrepreneurs to help them to get new knowledge, new experience, to start their projects or to develop their uh, existing projects and their social business ideas. When I looked at the topic, the Belt and Silk Road, it has a lot to do with the different developments that are going to go around the world. And Africa is one of the main areas where the Belt and Silk Road is going to pass through. And African countries are able to learn from something from there and get some be something beneficial out of it. Young entrepreneurs expanding to international level got the opportunity to participate in unique, engaging and interactive forum with exceptional experts. Our generation, we were educated differently. We had different experience and we accumulated this knowledge about other cultures, specifically if we are talking about, say, Europe, Russia, China, collaborations. Today's the educational system is different. So to my mind, to bridge the gap in this knowledge, the best way is to communicate, to meet eye to eye, to discuss personally some matters, to learn about each other traditions, to learn about each other cultures. So, I think this is a group. That's how we Chinese poems will say that as a good person you disagree with each other but you will work together nicely. Actually this is my first time attend this uh, youth time and uh, I love it and I think it provides us a very big platform for us to show ourselves and to communicate the different kind of culture and uh, I really love it. At this event, people across the globe learned about the opportunities that the Silk Road provides for nearby regions like Asia, Europe, Persian Gulf and Eastern Africa. The experts are very knowledgeable. I, I really appreciate, especially the capital management since I'm not from uh, finance, how they practice their craft in China. Yeah. I found the topic very relatable, all the uh, foreign policies and uh, how global uh, Business is being affected by Belt and Road Initiative. It's been a really good event that way. So actually, we are a global citizen. We are no longer a citizen belonging to only one single country. So in this sense, any young entrepreneur needs to develop a business cooperation with other young people in other foreign countries. So in this sense, to improve better understanding of uh, the culture of the other country is actually is vital. It's vitally important. Keynotes, workshops, masterclasses, business games and outstanding program help the participants to explore one of the most trending business topics as well as to find new friends worldwide. Do you want to be up to date with all the business trends? 
Well then, we're waiting for you right here next year.